Hey there, so today we have another beer talk and this is going to be about side projects and more specifically, Arrogant Brewing. Uh, so this is, you know, sort of my take on the, my opinion about what Arrogant Brewing is and also just a way to open a, a discussion about side projects in uh, craft beer. So if you don't already know, Stone in 2015 decided to do a, you know, offshoot or side project of Arrogant Bastard. And so now we have um, Arrogant Brewing. And so funny thing, they actually don't say Arrogant Brewing on here. Uh, except, you know, right in there, just a little bit piece right there. But so this is Arrogant Brewing's Wussy Pills, which is still brewed at Stone, but it still causes a lot of uh, confusion. It's sort of them trying to do a side project kind of thing. Uh, before I dig into that, I want to give you guys a few examples. One would be Hill Farmstead. Hill Farmstead is, you know, Ancestral Series. This is Florence. But then Sean Hill also has Grassroots Brewing, which, you know, sort of has a very similar kind of label. He does some collaborations in this, but then he arbitrarily calls some beers uh, grassroots sometimes. You know, it's a little confusing. But in the end, you sort of see on the label, it says Hill Farmstead, brewed and bottled at Hill Farmstead right there. And it actually shows Hill Farmstead Brewing right there. And so, you know, you don't have that confusion. And also with um, Hill Farmstead, you can pretty much only get these beers at the brewery. So you're going to the brewery, getting the beer, you know it's Hill Farm said, whereas beers like this and Stone can be found on the shelf and can offer a little bit more confusion. You also have stuff like this, which is perennial. This is perennial Braxis. And then you have Corey King's and Karen King's um, side project, literally called side project. And this is where he's doing barrel aged beers, um, you know, wild fermentation. So the kind of beers that he's doing are very different, which is not what Stone is doing. And then also the labels are so different. It's a very clear kind of different uh, differentiation where this literally looks like a Stone can. And so, you know, you sort of have an example here. You sort of have an example here. And so my issue is with this is that it just causes confusion. I know brewery reps that literally did not know that this happened two years ago where Stone sort of made this offshoot kind of thing. Uh, when I explain this to customers, it sort of goes against probably what Stone is trying to do. I sort of have to ex explain, yes, it's still brewed at Stone. This is them trying to do a side project kind of thing, but it is still a Stone beer. And so one thing for me is that you're using the Arrogant Bastard or Arrogant Brewing um, kind of name. Arrogant Bastard was brewed 20 years ago. Even before I got into craft beer, Arrogant Bastard was one of the craft beers beers and so now you're using that kind of iconic stone brand and trying to separate it when the two should really be interlocked together um, the other thing for me is that you're not really differentiating you know stone this literally looks like a stone can that is the arrogant bastard thing that's all i think about when i see this that's stone to me but they're trying to make it arrogant brewing and then the other thing is that it doesn't actually say that it's brewed at stone it says arrogant brewing <laughs> it, it's actually brewed at stone right so now you're like not putting you know, it's just, what, what is this thing? You know, people will look at this and they're like, I don't even know what brewery this is. And the other issue is that you're brewing now very strange beers for Arrogant Brewing. Arrogant Brewing literally does the Arrogant Bastard, all the variants, the other Bastard beers, the Barrel Age stuff, and then a Imperial Pilsner. But Stone is still doing their own thing, so it's a little confusing. So I think one of the fixes could be that it could be Stone Brewing with Arrogant Bastard series, blah, 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 which pretty much was what they were already doing. Or you really make the two very separate. You sort of go stone is one thing and then you call this, don't use arrogant bastard. That's already very interlocked with um, stone. You call it like rock. And so now you have rock brewing and then you separate the beer. Stone is going to do, let's say IPA. So all the IPAs enjoy by, that's going to stay to stay with stone. And then rock brewing is going to do the pills. They're going to do the arrogant bastard. They're going to do the imperial stout. They're going to do the um, wheat beer and all that other stuff. So you sort of have a differentiation between name, you do it with the different beers, and then really revamp the design. Um, there's a Stone Brewing website, by the way, and there's an Arrogant Brewing URL, separate website, super confusing, but the two websites look the same. Uh, you know, for someone who already knows what the two are, it is still very confusing, um, especially with the visuals. It's just like, why the two separate? So. Um, just an interesting rant and a little bit of an opinion. I really don't have strong opinions about this, but this is sort of my little take on it. I want for you guys to post below what you think about it. And then list below what some of your favorite side projects are. What do you think about brand confusion? What are some other ones that side projects that you like or don't like? So post in the comments below. Until next time, cheers. Later.